One of my favorite things in the world to do when I'm out here in the bush is I walk around, look for tracks, look into the trees. I try to figure out what animals are around or have been around. When I was a kid, I used to take this exact same hike. And instead of thinking of the ones that might have been here this morning, you start thinking about things like dinosaurs and you know all the animals that used to be here but are now extinct. So this has got me thinking about extinction. So let's have a chat about that. So what is extinction? Well, it's when an animal disappears from the planet or the population numbers get so low that there's no way for that species to recover. That is extinction. An interesting thing I just read, 99.9% .9 of species that ever lived on this planet have gone extinct. Now, how can that be? It basically is because this planet is a lot older than you think and although evolution happens very, very slowly in human terms, in planetary terms, it's pretty quick. Animals come, they exploit a certain environment, that environment changes such that that species can't live there anymore and it goes away. So that has happened to 99.9% .9 of the species that ever lived here and it's happening a lot right now. What could cause an extinction? Lots of things. We're basically talking about uh, environmental changes, uh, catastrophic events, you know, tidal waves, asteroids, volcanoes, those types of things. Uh, and of course, you know, the ones we have to worry about most is the human impact. We uh, are pretty good at that kind of thing. So you really can't talk about extinction unless you're talking about the five mass extinctions that have happened on the planet. So 444 million years ago, 86% of the species were wiped out due to a very short, very intense ice age. And then again, 375 million years ago, 75% of the species were wiped out actually due to evolution. The environment changed and along with it, animals evolved to actually wipe out a good portion of the biodiversity on the planet. The third was the largest of the mass extinctions where 96% of the planet's species were wiped out. And this was due to a series of natural disasters starting from a volcano in Siberia. The fourth mass extinction happened about 200 million years ago, and it was the one that scientists are a little bit confused about. We don't really know exactly what caused this mass extinction, but 80% of the planet's species were wiped out. The fifth mass extinction is the death of the dinosaur. It happened 66 million years ago, and it's the one that wiped out T-Rex, and it's the one that hurts my feelings the most, because I really think I could have been friends with a T-Rex. But that wiped out 75% of the planet's animals. So when was extinction discovered? Well, obviously anything that we know in science has to have been discovered at some point. And in the 1700s, people were finding fossils of animals that clearly lived here before, but just don't live here anymore. Hence, the discovery of extinction. Historically, on average, five species a year goes extinct. Now, that rate is 1,000 to 10,000 times faster. And it's not like before, it's not just natural causes anymore. 99% of the species going extinct now have been impacted by humans. We are screwing up. But we're not all bad. There are some animals that we have brought back from extinction. The Arabian oryx was wiped off the face of Africa and captive breeders decided to breed them up and bring them back to much success. The white rhino was almost wiped off the planet. We brought them back and as humans do, we are almost wiping them off the planet again. But at least we know how to bring them back. The fight is not over. Let's keep going, guys. Some species who we thought had become extinct, like the greater mouse ear bat, we found again and we're doing a lot of hard work to help that population breed back up and bring them back from the brink of extinction. So extinct isn't always extinct. We just sometimes have our facts wrong. I often get asked about Jurassic Park, not just because Chris Pratt basically pretended to be me on the movie, uh, but mostly because the idea of could we take the DNA of an old dinosaur and grow that into a species that would live and we could hang out with today. On theory, yes. Um, you take something like the woolly mammoth. Now the woolly mammoth shares a lot of the same DNA as an elephant. So you could take an elephant embryo and you could take some of the coating for the fur that a woolly mammoth would have or the large tusks or some of the big size that they would have. And you put that coating into today's genetic material that'd be the embryo of an elephant and 
possibly what would be born would be a woolly mammoth or something similar to. So yeah, Jurassic Park is possible. I think the whole point of Animal Bites is for us to be soldiers against extinction, meaning let's build everybody into conservationists. And we're gonna do that by showing you how amazing animals are. Animal Bites is a celebration of animals. So you guys are an army of people fighting extinction. Uh, one of the biggest fights for me is the fight against tiger's extinction. Three subspecies have already become extinct and there's five more in the plant that we're gonna work hard to save. If you haven't heard of Project Cat Discovery's partnership with WWF, you got to get involved. We're going to double Tiger's population by 2022. We need your help. Love it. I often get asked, how can I fight extinction? How can I get involved in conservation? Well, basically pick the animal you're most passionate about. Figure out what that animal needs. Find out the groups that are addressing those needs. And get in touch with them. Everybody out there has got a skill. You might be a seamstress. You might be an Instagram influencer, you might be an accountant, you might be really good with Photoshop. I don't know what it is, but somebody needs your skill. So get your skill in the hands of the people that are doing good things for the animals you want to help. Guys, thank you so much for joining. We will see you next time.